What is up guys? Welcome back to Shannon Bradford Outdoors. Tonight we are crawdad fishing and we're gonna have a crawdad boil tomorrow. But we just started, got quite a little good batch right there. We're gonna fill this bucket hopefully in an hour or so, hour and a half. So we got chicken on some lines and we're just netting, hitting the crawdads and then we got like eight traps over, uh, over on the dam over there. But yeah, I came home for Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of fishing and, and then this, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. All right, got a little trout here. Tiny little trout, what the heck? Figured we'd fish a little bit while we wait for the traps to do their thing. Tiny little guy. All right, got another one here. Hey, there's one. Pretty pale looking guy, but get him back in. Two in there. Come on, get out. Uh oh, he's all the way in. Yeah, tell him, put that, put your light on him. It's deep right here. Uh oh, Cameron fell in the water. Yeah, bro, that's probably really cold. There's those. Goodness. How cold is that water? Eh, not that cold. Not too bad. Until you jump out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Dad up. finally showed up, looks like. Hey, yeah, there's, yeah, see, there's a little girl flip flopping. <laughs> yeah. Just throw that one on. Yeah. Hey, Cameron. You'll find, probably find the other pair of that one down there. Dude, Put this sucker on. Because you're wearing that big old red thing. Got him. Get him. Nice. Yeah, get your nails. Dollar, oh, dollar tree. Hey, do they have pink eyes when you shine your light in them? Yeah, they're red. Yeah, pink eyes. In them. Yeah, yeah, dollar tree. I got like 12 of them. 12 bucks. We're getting there. Getting closer. Once it gets about halfway, we'll go check the traps and see if the traps fill it up. We'll put a full bucket almost we're getting there all righty guys it's the next day we dispatched and dispatched and cleaned the crawdads last night um, in Utah you can't leave the lake uh, with live crawdads which is really stupid but um, if you're doing this in Utah you can uh, either run a knife through their head you can soak them in or let, let them sit in salt water um, they'll die naturally like that so I mean those are the two main ways that I've done it but getting everything ready right now. Got the pot and the jet right over there. Just wanted to show you what I'm using, what I have. I got a dual jet cooker, um, 367,000 BTUs. Um, it's a it seems a beast. I love it. And then I just got a 36 quart boiling pot. So I definitely need a bigger pot sometime down the road because this this thing this thing is awesome. It, boils that water super fast but I'll just show you what we're using for seasonings all right so we got complete complete boil by Cajun land uh, that's just for like flavor and this is the spicy stuff this stuff is super spicy Louisiana crawfish will boil and then smoked paprika so all good stuff about to go in the pot all right, just turn the jet on, the jet burner. And it is loud! All right, we've got our seasonings. Water's boiling. Oh, 
paprika. Yeah, throw that butter in, babe. these in throw them in hole or you crack them? No, nah, just throw them in like that. Okay. Now nah, just cut the onions in half and we'll throw them in just like that. Lemons, we're gonna squeeze them. Squeeze them first and then drop them in. Squeeze them into the thing first and then drop them in. Timer for the potatoes. Got all the crawdads in now. Sausage, asparagus, mushrooms, and corn. Those are about to go in soon. All right, it's been five minutes. We're gonna shut everything down. Throw yeah, frozen just, corn in. Know, the time, then. Yeah. Throw frozen corn in to cool everything off. <laughs> oh, I got the sausage in. I know. <laughs> Alright, I want to cool this down to about 150 degrees. And then we'll let it soak for about 20 minutes to, for everything to really absorb all the flavor. It gets pretty spicy. <laughs> Got all that meat there. It's good stuff right there. <laughs> that corn was spicy, huh? Tater. <laughs> you got a good pile over there, Art. I'm a fire here. They're dang good. This asparagus. Ooh. I mean, it's a lot of pork for what's in there, but it's dang good. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, we've got everything packed up, put away. I uh, just want to thank Cameron and Art for 
uh, wanting to put this together. We made it happen on Memorial Day weekend. Tons of fun. I hope they enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks.